Hi, welcome to the training for Loom.com. The point of this video is to show you how to take a recorded video and add a sign language interpreter to the corner of the screen. I will take you through the steps starting with setting up an account, then moving on to how to create and record the video with you signing in the corner on your student teacher's recorded video. Please remember to explain to your student teacher what you are doing. Remind that teacher to send you the video before sharing it with the class because you need to add yourself to the video signing what the teacher is saying. Explain you will send the video with you signing back to them. Then the teacher can upload it to her page she is sharing with her students, like Schoology or Canvas or whatever program your district is using. Let's begin by going to the website called loom.com. On this website, click on Get Loom for free. Choose the option you are comfortable with. For this video, I signed in with my personal email because I already set up an account using my Fort Bend ISD email address. Next, click on Create Free Account. Here is where you will set up your password. Fill out the spaces, then click on I agree with Loom's terms and condition. When you are done, click on Continue. On this page, it asks you what will you use Loom for? There are three options, work-related, personal, and education. I decided to choose work-related. Once you have chosen, click on continue. I'm not familiar with Chrome extension. I was told by a colleague of mine that we can't get this on our district laptop. It's not a big deal. Just choose the desktop app. You will have access to all of the features in this setup. Once you click on download app, the program will begin downloading. You can see the process in the bottom left of the screen. Once it has been downloaded, double click on it. A couple of boxes will pop up. Then it will say Loom is running. Click on OK. Allow the app to download onto your computer. As it is downloading, you will notice down at the bottom of your screen in the toolbar, there's the Loom icon. Once it is done downloading, a Loom box will appear. This will be your screen setup and start recording menu. You will also notice you can see me in the circle. This circle I think is called the bubble. Since the Looms icon is on my toolbar, let's close the Looms website and open up Loom from down here. When you click on the Looms icon, the menu pops back up, and so does the bubble. Before you record yourself signing the teacher's video, make sure the setting on the menu is correct. Make sure the screen plus camera is highlighted blue. 
choose the HP HD webcam for the camera and the stereo mic for the microphone. If you do not choose the stereo mic, it will not pick up the teacher's voice in their recorded video. Also, I believe the setting will put you in the bubble on mute. You will see the Loom sidebar in the middle of the left side of your computer screen. This is the start button, pause button, trash can, and I don't know what this is, sorry. Next, fit the screen with the teacher's recorded video and your bubble so it is visible by the student. Remember, you can make the bubble larger. Just put your cursor in the bottom part of the bubble and a menu will appear. Now when you are ready, click on Start Recording button from the Looms menu. You will notice a 3 second countdown. After the countdown, you will start the teacher's video. Oops, sorry about that. Once the teacher begins to speak, you will begin your signing. As you can see here, please excuse my signing skills. I am not a certified sign language interpreter and my signing skills has become worse over the years due to not having many students that use sign language very well. Also, the internet connection was not good while making this video. <clears throat> Now, like I said, you will notice me signing in the bubble. You will also notice there's a ghosting effect from me signing so fast. This could be due to the bad internet connection. Also, I am too close to the camera. I need to move away from the camera so my hands can be seen. Right now, you can't hear the teacher's voice in this video. I will show you how this all sounds later in this video. Now, let's stop on this page of the book so we can continue with this training. To stop the Looms video, I clicked on the box located on the Looms sidebar menu that I mentioned earlier. After doing that, now the screen looks like this. This is telling me that it's uploading the video I just made. How long the downloading takes depends on the length of the video you just made. So after the video is downloaded into your Loom account, this is what it looks like. Before you send it to the teacher, please check your video first. Scroll down, and we are going to download this video so we can view it. It's good to download this video and watch it first before you send it so you can make sure everything looks good. Like, ask yourself, then can the teacher be heard? Can my hands and facial expression be seen? Do I look washed out, or do I stand out from the background? Or do I blend in too much? Now you'll see the green bar at the bottom. That's from Zoom uh, website. I was using Zoom to make this video for you all. Here we go. Hello, boys and girls. Are you ready to read this story with me? The title of the book. The name of this story is I Went Walking. It is the story of a little boy who goes walking and sees animal. Okay, so this is the part of the video that I stopped at um, because I, I used this video for the training. So if you're happy with the video, go ahead and close the video by clicking on the X located at the top right 
corner of the video screen, this will take you back to that page that we downloaded this video from. So now you are ready to send this video to the teacher in an email. So we're gonna click on share. Then you will click on link and then it will say link shared once it's clicked. Open up your email to create a new message. In there, you will right click in the body of the email and paste the link. Type up a message to the teacher about this link and send it. A couple of things to keep in mind when setting up your area for the video. Make sure you have good lighting. Make sure your back is not facing the window. It is best to sit facing a window or a lamp, but you don't want to be overexposed with the lighting. You can place the lamp behind your laptop or buy a small clip-on ring light on Amazon. If you have light skin, wear a top that is dark and doesn't have patterns on it. Long sleeves, black top seems to be the best. Also, make sure the background is darker than your skin. A solid dark color is best. If you have dark skin, wear a light color top without patterns. Long sleeves also helps. Make sure the background is a light color. If you don't have the correct background, you can use thumbtacks to hang a plastic table cover from a store near you, or you can use your bed sheet. I want to thank you for what you do for those that need a sign language interpreter. Also, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.